Hi guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. Uh, we're looking at part two of my massive big yard cleanup. Uh, I'm continuing in the center section. Uh, and if you didn't see my first video, I'll put a link up now, but this is um, going to be an ongoing series on cleaning my yard, but a bit more involved in that. I'll give you a lot of tips and things on the way uh, with what I've been doing. Now, for a start, I've scrapped a couple of dryers out that I found. Um, and the barrels I've put aside because I sell those. Uh, I only put $5 each on them, but they sell as fire pits or uh, planters or um, chicken laying boxes, all sorts of things. Um, the I've uncovered this light. I knew it was here, but it's a, um, a street lamp, an early street lamp from Melbourne, I believe, or one of the bigger cities. It has been converted at one stage to run fluoro tubes. I've got the glass... Uh, put aside in one of my sheds but I'll probably restore this at some stage but it had been lying under grass and everything else so it's nice to actually uncover it and I'll uh, get it out of the dirt and probably take it home at some stage as I said I scrapped out a couple of dryers uh, this one has been repacked with pressing steel and is ready to go I have done a video on dryers before and this one is being filled and I just put all the light gauge steel and wire and tin and handles of old mowers and things in these and then once I've finished packing them I screw the lid back on and it makes a nice storage facility that I can then load up on my trailer and take to Melbourne so um, I've got a couple of those done so I'm getting a bit of in this area sorted uh, I did mention in the first video as well about this Madeira vine um, and you can see it down the down the end there on the fence growing over everything uh, it's a highly invasive weed and I want to get I want to rid it of my yard uh, permanently so I'm going to work through this area and try and dig up all the tubers um, and if I dig through here you'll see what I mean they're right through the ground here they're like little potatoes they're underground tubers and they'll grow from anything. They form tubers on the stems as well and they drop down and they'll grow from everywhere. So I'm digging these out as I go and I'm just using an old fan screen. Uh, repurposing it at its best, it makes a handy little sieve and uh, it enables me to save most of the soil which I'll probably use as potting mix or something, but I'll have to keep an eye on it in case any little small tubers do get through. Uh, and then the rest of them are going into this tub, which I'm going to try a couple of things. I'll try uh, mulching them and uh, having a hot compost to see if I can kill them. Uh, and also I might try some mulched and in a worm farm and just see if the worms will handle them. But of course the worms won't eat anything that's still alive and growing, so... Uh, whether the mulcher will kill all the tubers, I'm not sure. Okay, a couple more things in this video. Um, I'll move these dryer bodies shortly, which will give a bit of space. Now, a couple of drums I dragged out from the grass. Uh, these ones, they're a 60 litre drum. I find they're handy. I'll take the top out, and they're handy for storing cast aluminium and some of my other scrap metals in. Uh, and I've got to get this top out and I think there's a bit of water gone in there now there's a bit of a trick getting those tops out I'll show you in a second with a couple of screwdrivers and the other thing is this hot water service it's a copper one so we'll pull that apart now and uh, just see what sort of copper cylinder we get out of that just before I get to the hot water cylinder here's how to get these uh, tops or bungs out of these drums a couple of screwdrivers and you get really good leveraging this way so if you don't have a specialized tool that's the easiest way. Once you break the seal, they normally unscrew pretty easily. They do have an O-ring around them and that often just seizes up. Um, it's a zinc alloy of some sort, so they'll go in the scrap. And as for the drum, we'll just cut the top out. Um, I just like doing it the old-fashioned way. A nice sharp cold chisel. And uh, it does pretty well cut through fairly quickly. I've obviously sped this up. I can't quite do it this quickly. But um, this method does 
uh, it doesn't leave any sharp burrs around the edge and you don't have to go and get power tools and extension cord and everything to try and cut it out. Then all we need to do is punch a couple of holes through the bottom of the drum and sit it on some bricks and it's a great storage spot for some scrap. Okay, now I'm going to um, skin this hot water surface. Uh, it has a, a tin or a galvanised type casing. There'll be some insulation inside and then the copper cylinder. So the first thing I'll do is get these pop rivets out. And the easiest way with pop rivets, because they're aluminium, is just to drill the top off. So you see they're very soft, they drill off quite well. And if that, that'll just lever off with a screwdriver, or I could hit it with a little pin punch and knock that in. So I'll do the rest of those, and I'll take the two ends off, because the bottom one's the same. And then we'll cut the uh, side with the angle grinder. Okay, this is coming off very easily. Um... Once I drop all the pop rivets drilled out, there we go. Now the insulation is um, it's a bit similar to what you put in your roof. It may be a glass fibre one, I'm not too sure on that. Um, I don't expect that it's going to be going to be a wool or a natural fibre. Uh, I'm not too sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bag this up just to be safe. And I'll try a little bit in the worm farm and they'll soon tell me if it's a natural product or if it's a glass fiber one. If it is um, if it is synthetic it won't be any good for the environment so it'll probably have to go to landfill. I can't do much about that. Um, it's not likely to be able to be used for anything and it's probably a bit of a hazard if it is glass fibers. But we'll do a test on that. Um, I'll save a little bit for the worm farm and give them a test on it and uh, we'll take things from there. All right, so I'll knock the other end off and then we'll get the grinder out. So now the quickest method to get this skin off is just run down one side with a thin cutting blade on my angle grinder. And more insulation, but look at that lovely copper. So we'll clean this up and we'll weigh the cylinder just for interest sake and see what it weighs. All right, I'm starting to run out of light today, but um, here's the bag full of insulation. Um, the more I handle it, the more I think it might be a natural woolen type fibre. So he's hoping that the compost or the worms can handle that because I don't really want the whole bag to go to landfill. And the whole point of doing a video on my yard cleanup is to show you how little has to be actually thrown out. Uh, got the cylinder out and the shell of the hot water cylinder there is just a light gauge tin. I may flatten that out and use it underneath pellets to keep weeds down, otherwise it can just go in the pressing steel. Now I've got some bathroom scales here. If I can weigh myself, um, looks like we've got about 74 kilos there. And now if I pick up this cylinder, I can see about 82 kilos. So that's about 8 kilograms of copper. Um, this would go in Australia as domestic copper because it's got solder around the seams and there are some brass outlets and inlets. Uh, but other than that, it's un uncontaminated. So I don't know what the current price of domestic copper is, maybe six six fifty a kilo. By eight dollars is you know we're looking at fifty dollars or so worth of copper it's only quite a light cylinder the older ones used to be very heavy and worth a lot more anyway we'll stack that aside and um i'll take you for a run down to the scrapyard at some stage when we've got a good load that'll do for tonight uh, look out for my next video on my yard cleanup where we'll get down to this section and hopefully get to sort out the woodshed down the end there bye for now